Hello and welcome back here to our Wonder Twin series. We are back here with Tom and Jerry. Both of them are now 30 years old. Last time we saw them, they were 27 years old. Tom playing at Manchester City and Jerry had made the move over to Chelsea. Three years later, they are both with their same clubs. Taking a look at their value status, they are both equal for the first time. Valued at $105 million each. Tom on the left here is making slightly more money than his brother at $21 million and 91, and his brother Jerry making $19.5 million a year. And both are considered key players for their respected clubs. So that is very interesting that they are both valued at the same exact amount. Last time, Tom, in previous times, Tom has been ahead in that aspect by quite a large margin. So Jerry has been making a name for himself apparently at Chelsea. Uh, but let's take a look down here at their attributes and see how they compare to each other. Tom still has that big lead down in uh, attacking. and He's definitely a much more polished attacker. 17 compared to Jerry's 11. Uh, Jerry's still holding on to that one point defensive lead. Everything else is pretty similar. Uh, same mental, aerial, uh, technicals, Tom by one. Vision is a little bit ahead. Um, speed is one ahead for Tom and physical is the same. So that's been pretty similar to the last time we saw him. But why don't we switch over here and take a closer look at the attributes for Tom. Uh, I can see here that Tom still has a crazy um, amount of high attributes. Still has 20s in a couple different areas. Uh, and his technical stats, he has 19 for the first touch, 18 for the long shots, 20 for passing, and 18 for technique. Those are some absolutely incredible attributes. Uh, his lowest is an 8 for long throws, and his free kick taking is at 9. Everything else is in the double digits. That's just insane. And then his mental stats are just as crazy. He has 3 20s, 20 for composure, 20 for decisions, 20 for off the ball, and he actually has 4, and 20 for vision. 4 20s for his mentals. That's <laughs> that's incredible. Everything else is pretty high. Uh, and I say low for bravery and aggression. 9 and 8 is still um, pretty good. Not that he needs to be an aggressive um, midfielder at all. That doesn't look like his, his play style at all. Um, but looking at his physical stats, they are still as high as ever. 17 acceleration, 20 agility, 19 for balance, 17 pace, stamina, and strength. Incredible. And his media description is now a legendary midfielder. I would say that he definitely fits that bill. Over here at his international appearances, he has 135 appearances for the national team. And he scored 22 goals for him. So he has been ever present for the national team. So last time we did leave off, it was about to be the 2030-31 season. In that season, holy crap, he had 38 appearances, 10 goals, and a whopping 22 assists in the league. He won 5 player of the matches with an average rating of 7.49. 22 assists in the league alone. He definitely broke Manchester City's assist record. Um, there, There's no way he didn't break that. Um, 22 probably broke the record just in the league alone. That doesn't count the cup matches in the um, Continental, like the Champions League games as well. So um, I'll be shocked if he doesn't win um, or he didn't break the record. Um, but the next season, 31-32... Uh, he didn't make a full um, season appearance. Um, he missed four games, it looks like. So 34 appearances, 8 goals, 12 assists, 6 player of the matches, 
Average rating dipped down to a 7.29. So I'm guessing he probably picked up an injury that season. Um, and that caused his stats to be a little lower. The following season, he had 31 appearances, 10 goals, 9 assists, 2 player of the matches. Average rating of 7.46. So past two seasons, he's failed to um, play every single game in the league. So... Um, a bit disappointing that he wasn't able to match that season beforehand, but still very present for Manchester City. Taking a look at his injuries now. Uh, yes, yeah, so 2031, he had a major injury, tore some ankle ligaments, and was out for two months. So that had occurred during this past season. Uh, switching over to his milestones, got to scroll down here a little bit. So, 2031 is where we'll pick it up at. So, a load of Team of the Weeks in the Premier League. Um, broke the Premier League record for assist in a season with 22. Not surprised there. He was named the... 2031 Players FA Premier League Team of the Year. Manchester City was runners-up in the Champions League that season. He was inducted into the Man City overall best 11. And was elected third place in the Champions League midfielder. Broke Manchester City's record for assist in a season at 29. So a very incredible season for... Tom with Manchester City that year. Uh, national team named into the Gold Cup Dream Team with the United States. Uh, United States were winners of that competition. And he was voted as Player of the Year for Manchester City. Shortlisted for the 2031 FIFA World Player of the Year. Uh, he did not get in the top three. Oh, maybe he did. He won it in 2031. Is that the same year? Yes. Won the World Player of the Year from Manchester City and named in the 2031 FIFA World 11 of the Year. Was the CONCACAF Player of the Year. Some more Best 11 for the US and Team of the Week for the Premier League. Manchester City winners of the Carabao Cup in 2032. USA winners of the CONCACAF CONCACAF Nations League 2032, Man City winners of the Premier League in 2032, also winners of the FA Community Shield, named in the Player Team of the Year, or sorry, the Premier League Team of the Year for 2032, so Tom enjoying some good years at Manchester City, once again voted Player of the Year for Man City, which he's won seven Player of the Years in a row for Manchester City. Incredible stuff. And now some more Premier League Player of the Seasons. CONCACAF Player of the Year 2032. 2033. Manchester City has won the Carabao Cup once again. So Tom is racking up the personal accolades as well as... Um, picking up trophies with Manchester City. He is doing fantastic for himself there. Transfer status-wise, there is currently no interest. Contract with that $21.9 million per year, running for another two years. And dynamics-wise, he still is determined to win trophies with Manchester City, and long term, it doesn't look like he will be picking up management or coaching of any capacity. But let's go ahead and switch over to Jerry at Chelsea. His technical stats uh, are still a little lower than his brother's, but some fantastic attributes. 19 first touch, 17 passing, and 16 technique are his top attributes there. Um, definitely has a, a lot more blues than his brother. 
um, but still has some good quality attributes ment mental stats wise. Um, 16 anticipation, 16 composure, 18 decisions, 16 positioning, 20 for vision, and 17 for his work rate. Physical stats, 16 acceleration, 20 agility, 17 balance, 16 pace, 18 stamina, and 17 for his strength. And his media description is also as a legendary midfielder. So, both Wonder Twins are legends in the football world. Taking a look at his international stats, he has appeared for the national team 115 times, notching 18 goals for the United States. And his career stats... In his second season with Chelsea, he had appeared 37 times, 4 goals, 9 assists with 1 player of the match, getting an average rating of 7.1. The following year, another 37 appearances, 8 goals, 9 assists, 1 player of the match, average rating of 7.07. .07. And this past year, he had 35 appearances, 5 goals, 7 assists, one player of the match, and an average rating of 7.12. So I'm guessing Jerry is probably playing um, a more defensive midfield role, or um, he's playing center back, which he was doing for the national team. Um, if he wasn't, I would expect his uh, assists and goals to be a little higher, um, and his average rating to be a little higher. Um, for more attacking players, the average rating is increased more. Um, simply because they get assists and goals, so that skyrockets. But still, he's making a, a lot of appearances and having solid average rating. Injury-wise, um, a couple moderates and slights. Um, still doing very good in that department since early on. Milestones, not quite as much as his brother, but still has quite a bit here. 2031, Chelsea were winners of the Premier League and winners of the Champions League. So, a good double for Jerry and Chelsea there. He was also named into the Premier League Team of the Year. So, you got Jerry Runder and... I don't see his brother there. That is surprising. I thought his brother was in it like every single year. Oh, that was not the right year. It would have been 2030-31. Jerry in at center back and Tom in at midfield. So, Nasso named into the seasonal best 11 for Chelsea and named into the Champions League dream team. Chelsea runners up in the FA Community Shield. And then Chelsea were the winners of the UEFA Super Cup. Part of the national team that won the CONCACAF Cup. I think that should say Gold Cup. And then in 2032. Oh, actually we still got a couple more for 2031. Uh, he was Player of the Year runner-up for Chelsea. Part of the Chelsea team that won the FIFA Club World Cup. So a very good year for Jerry and Chelsea in 2031. 2032, U.S. won the CONCACAF Nations League. Chelsea were runners-up in the FA Cup. Which I believe... Was against Manchester City. Nope, it was not. It was against Southampton. Just getting it all wrong today. That's alright. So then, 2032, he was inducted into the Chelsea overall best 11. Some more players of the week. And he was, once again, runner-up in the player of the year. 2033, he was the Premier League player of the month for February. 
2033, Chelsea were winners of the Premier League once again, named into the Premier League Team of the Year, and Chelsea were runners-up in the Champions League. Let's see who ended up winning it. Got to go back a year. Final, they lost 1-0 to Real Madrid. But I believe that is caught up for his milestones. Yes, it is. Uh, as well, transfer status, no interest from anyone. And his contract also is running two more years till 2035. Dynamics-wise, nothing going on here. He's also not going to remain part of the f um, he's not going to remain in the game once his playing career comes to an end. Um, switching over to the national team, both players are still the two top players for the national team. Uh, Tom is number one and considered the key player. Uh, world rankings dropped a place or two and they're now in 15th. Uh, but let's take a look at the schedule here for the past couple years and see um, what they have been getting up to so obviously part of that gold gold cup team in 2031 that won the CONCACAF gold cup i'm not sure why the final switches over to CONCACAF cup when it's part of the gold cup still um both players were in the final where the u.s won three one over mexico jerry playing back at center back and tom working the midfield good to see them in that team then switching to 2032, they were in that CONCACAF Nations League where they got the victory over Canada to win that title as well. Uh, Tom and Jerry, part of that team. In the final, they actually got a red card in the sixth minute, but hold on to the 1-0 lead throughout the game to beat um, Canada. Both of them playing in the midfield there. 2032 at the end, part of the the World Cup qualifications. I can see that it looks like both players were part of that team. And I'm um, getting a goal against Costa Rica. I'm guessing they qualified for for the World Cup for this coming year. Yeah, they definitely got in to the World Cup, and it looks like they were invited to the Confederations Cup. Uh, it's still going on. Are they part of the team? No, it does not look like they are part of the team that is playing in the Confederations Cup. So it looks like it's probably the B team taking part of that, as it's usually the case. Um... But at the end of this year, they are back in the Nations League. And then the next year, they will be part of the World Cup team, hopefully. But that is where this episode um, will be coming to an end. Next episode will be the final episode for our two American Wonder Twins. Uh, we will simulate five years Hell, they are both 35 years old. We'll see if um, they are still playing. If so, we'll simulate a, a few more years until they are both retired. And then we'll kind of go over their career and compare stats. Uh, and then we will choose a new country and positions and all that fun stuff for uh, the next iteration of the Wonder Twins. But yes, if you are enjoying this series, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are not already. And as always, be sure to leave any comments down below. Uh, that I'll definitely be sure to answer any questions or if you want to suggest who should be um, the next country for the next Wonder Twins, be sure to do that. But it's been your boy 147. Till next time.